Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Paradox today. I'm going to be showing you the Ripper, which nobody's probably used in about four years. It was on Ghost, you know. Everybody, I just don't see a lot of people using it now. A little bit about the Ripper, if you don't know about the Ripper, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people do know. The gun was made on Call of Duty Ghost. It was on the Devastation DLC on Ghost. I don't know which what like I don't know what DLC it was. I don't know which if it was the first, second, third, or fourth. I'm thinking it's the second or third DLC to come out. I'm thinking. I think it's the second. I'm not sure. It's been four years since the game's been out, and I just don't remember none of like the only two guns I really used. Actually, the three, four guns I used on there was the Honey Badger. The um Remington, the MTAR, and this weapon, like the Honey Badger was my go to weapon. I I wouldn't touch another weapon. But when this game uh, this gun game this gun came to the game, I used this all the time. This was the go to weapon after it came out and I was just tearing people up because I was third in the world and cranked if y'all didn't know. I don't know if a lot of people knew that on Xbox three sixty. I was number three in the world and I just grinded the game out and I used this weapon like I used the honey badger like I said but after them few like after the gun came out that's the only weapon I used I probably had about like 300 some thousand kills with this weapon itself and crazy I'm talking cr this is just a underused weapon now I don't I can go into a lobby and I don't see nobody using it mostly people use the mtar mtar Jesus Christ the NV4, the that's all I really see now is just the NV4 and the flatline. I can't stand the flatline. You just don't understand. Making this gameplay, trying to you know get a decent gameplay. I wasn't just finding corner campers using flatlines. Like that's the worst thing ever, and I was just so mad. Like, there's an example right there. That guy was just in a corner, and uh, I just don't understand. But, um, you know, I wanted to bring y'all this, and, you know, I just want to see, just start using this weapon, I'm going to advise y'all. I feel like it's, it's not better than the NV4, but it kind of, it's close to the NV4. It, like, one or two hits, just like the NV4. And I kind of feel like the NV4 is going to get nerfed soon. I really do, just, it's so, it's used so much. And I feel like it's about to get a nerf, and I don't think nobody's going to be using it anymore in my in my eye. Which, if they do nerf it, the game's going to die, because that's what everybody uses. But, you know, just bringing this to y'all, if the MV4 does get nerfed, you know, you got this weapon. This weapon's pretty overpowered. You know, you can't drop a nuke with it, but you can drop a nuke with the RPR uh, Fizzin. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that's what it's called. But, um... And I just wanted to bring y'all this today. And if you enjoyed, let's try to get 30 likes on this. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.